Hey everyone, I am Rabbo Khandelwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss longest common substring. We shall begin our session by discussing the problem statement. Then, we will discuss the algorithmic solution to find the longest common substring. Finally, we will implement the set function to find the longest common substring in the code editor. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below so you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get started with the problem statement. The longest common substring problem involves finding the length of the longest string that is the substring of two or more strings. There might be a number of solutions to a situation. Now. Let's discuss the algorithmic solution to find the longest common substring. First, we must determine the length of the longest common suffix for each substring of both strings and save it in the database. Now, if the last characters in the longest common suffix match, their length will be reduced by 1. Or if the last characters in the longest common suffix do not match, then the result will be zero. Now, we will look at the suffix of distinct substrings that ends at different indices. Finally, we will conclude that longest common substring is a longest common suffix with the maximum length. We have now discussed the problem statement and the algorithmic solution to find the longest common substring. Now, Let's implement this solution in the code editor. We will start with a function that will return the length of the longest common substring of a string x and y. And lc sub str its argument as star care x comma character pointer y comma and the size of the first string x comma int and this will be the size of the another string y now we will create a table to store the length of longest common suffixes of string now we will create a array lc surf to store the length of the longest common suffix so int lc surf at m plus 1 and n plus 1 and another variable result equals to 0. This will be used to store the length of the longest common substring. Now we will follow the steps to build the LC suffix in the bottom of fashion. So for and i equals to 0 i less than equals to m i plus plus another nested loop 4 and 
j is equals to zero. J less than equals to and J plus plus. Now the first row and the first column entries will have no logical meaning. They will be used only for the simplicity of the program. So if I is equals to zero or j is equals to zero then lc of at i comma j will be equals to zero else If x at i minus one is equals to y at j minus one, then LC surf at I comma J will be equals to LC surf at I minus one and J minus one. plus one and the result will be equals to the maximum of result comma LC surf at I comma J else lc surf at i comma j will be equals to zero and we will return result now let's write the main block so we will have string char x is equals to calm down and another string char y is equals to keep calm now we will store the length n m equals to str ln of x and int n will have strln of y. Now we will print the length of longest common substring lcs sub 
str at x comma y comma m comma n Now let's try and execute this. As you can see, we are getting the length of the longest common substring as 4, which was Khan. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you liked this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.